Grand Rising, my friends. Hey there, what's up? What it look like? Thinking about you to the most beautiful subscribers in several universes and dimensions. Ready for the multiverse. Excited about the Spidey coming up. Spider-Man movie. If you're new, hey, join us. Get on in. Join us today. The cryptocurrency market is looking a, a tad bit brighter than it has been several days. You can see it's now down to 2.2 trillion overall with um, Bitcoin under a trillion market cap now at 48,506. It was down to 47 earlier, so it's coming up a little bit. <laughs> Ethereum has dropped down some. Ethereum, you know, I've been doing fine above 4,000, but now it's down to 3,887. Binance at 531. Solana, 162. Moving in the right direction. Cardano's has really not been doing much, but it's, some of the DEX is going to come online. Um, I don't meant to say that in the um, SE experiments that the um, you can, there's several pools you can get in and delegate that you may get drops from um, Sunday Swap that I mentioned in the airdrops video. But we'll show that another time. Car XRP, 81 cents. Doge had a bit of a bump. I believe Elon said that Tesla would accept it for payments now or something, something as such at 18 cents. Avalanche 89, Terra 60, Shiba Inu at four zeros 34, Polygon $2, Crypto.com 54 cents. So a lot of things moving along in the market. Stock market didn't do too well today. Everything down NASDAQ down over a percentage point. Um, S&P 500 at three fourths of a percent and the Dow at a third of a percent. People are still afraid of the variant and when that's looking for travel and countries with um, different requirements for people who to go into stores or not. So it's a lot of uncertainty and uncertainty. The markets do not like uncertainty. So once there's a more certain and it appears to be, you know, the data is showing that it may be more transmissible, but less severe. Um, Ethereum continues to burn at a tremendous rate. Um, wow, it's incredible. You imagine the price be going through the roof, but you know, is this a bit of manipulation? I don't think it's manipulation as much as some would like to manipulate the market now. I think a lot of it, I mean, in terms of, yeah, the propaganda and the media with the littlest bit of a um, decline of any price, but I think a lot of it is more kind of in line of people are just afraid with the, with their money in all markets right now and while bitcoin probably more so in the future will be seen as that safe haven flight when people are really scared it's still very new and so it's just a lot of people are taking their money out of markets it is what it is you know how the thing goes we're here on this channel about positivity and positivity being if there's someone in your life that is important that has guided and molded you to become the person you are say something nice about them down in the comment section and then send them this video and say hey look what i wrote about you down there and as we multiply that across the globe we'll have everybody saying nice things about each other into today's story it's a bit of an older stuff. You imagine that I had some of this stuff um, in the, as they say, what did they say? Um, uh, what do we say? I had some of this stuff in, 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 you know, in the chamber, but things come up and a little busy. I'm going to do another video soon about what I think is going to be a, um, a application, a take it take away i don't know how the algorithm stuff works i'm just not you know i've seen a lot of people are scared to use the term but a um you know like michael myers is my favorite um iller with a k in the front <laughs> in, in movies like that but a uh that type of application a putting it down just unrelentless application in crypto 
um, is that uh, DeFi kingdoms. I'm going to do a video talking about that. But now, Hyper Threat China's hypersonic nuke fired. It wasn't a nuke, but it could have been a nuke. I guess that's what they're trying to say. Sun is very um, colorful with their language to get you uh, inflamed. Fired a second missile mid flight, leaving Pentagon reeling as experts say it defies science. Now, they're. they're um, What's the word? They're they're ginning up a little bit of the language, but it is um, some truth in the words being said, which is when China fire, I believe in the August trip. OK, no, the one over um, in July, July 27th, that when they fired their uh, fob, their fractional orbital bombardment weapon system weapon F fob of, of fob fobs. I know five is with the W, so it'll be I'm not gonna go into that. Anyway, that it it appeared that it something shot out of it. So when China had their test of their vehicle that was traveling able to skip around the planet hypersonic speeds, there appeared to be something that shot out of it and went into the ocean. Now a missile or some type of device as a decoy is unknown but you know it it appeared that occurred and the pentagon individual saying that that type of is, is is technology is not thought to exist yet meaning we haven't created something like that or probably even thought to do something like that <laughs> and so you know that's what that means so interesting that you know what? What could it be? What could? What would be the purpose? You have a vehicle already moving at hypersonic speeds that's able to shoot off a projectile. Now, granted, you know, hey, in the future, you're probably going to have a lot of things moving at hypersonic speed, able to release sub, you know, almost kind of like a, a Russian dial effect of, you know, one system moving that direction, breaking off the ten systems that can be moving in, in different um, independently. But fascinating. So. Something to keep an eye on and not to think that China has everything on us. DARPA funded researchers accidentally discover world's first warp bubble. <laughs> what do they mean by warp? So it goes into a long. We talked about it before and I butchered the name. But this science um, scientist, and I may even have mentioned him in that previous story. We talked about the Alcubre Al 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 uh, warp drive. Um, this guy, Sonny White, was a pioneer and worked uh, in NASA on it and, um, you know, took, I believe, I think I mentioned him in that article um, when I talked about that, took some of the concepts of it and said, well, this is how we would do it with today's technology. And now, you know, through serendipity, as most great discoveries are, are found, they believe they found a real live warp bubble. So uh, Dr. White has a, a new Institute, the Limitless Space Institute, where they were working on. Now, this gets into some crazy stuff. This was an accident where they found this. This is not even. So he is a guy who understands. It's been working on this, and that's probably why he probably understood what he saw when he when they saw the data. But they were doing. He was doing something, something else in life. So went off later on and was working on um, these Casimir cavities. What is the Casimir cavity? Now this. I may butcher this, but I'm, I'm trying to put it through my, oh, none of this is financial advice, medical advice, science advice, spiritual advice, or anything of any shape, form, or fashion. I mumble stuff, uh, garble words, take everything with a grain of salt. With that said, in my limited understanding, a Casimir cavity, well, Casimir forces are noted that when you put two plates that should have no force acting between them, not charged or anything in a vacuum, there's still physical force that occurs, which appears to be quantum flux fluctuations interacting with the macroscopic world. Fancy way of saying that even at the smallest levels, depending on the how things are shaped, that quantum effects can still ha can be um, noted and, and measured. So Casimir cavities, in my understanding, would be ways of designing shapes that kind of shield the interior to these Casimir 
effects that it seemed that was noted to occur in in vacuums or in, you know probably outside vacuums as well of course and inside these cavities they found what appeared to be a warp bubble very tiny as he kept saying it's very tiny but real a warp bubble they think they found them. and what is a warp bubble is basically a curvature in space time that if been able to manipulate, we'll be able to pull devices with like a different propulsion instead of how we got thrust that push stuff. Now you'll be able to pull things through space, technically get into some weird stuff, being able to go through probably time and space at that point, meaning traveling across anywhere you want to go dimensionally. Um, you know, cause if you just say, Hey, travel to that star right there, but at, at what time at, at, at the exact same time we have now, at, you know, at the time, you, at the light you're seeing from that star is, is, is different calculations or, or, or things you have to consider in that. And so this is now what I'm discussing is at the really, you know, way up where we're able to manipulate that level, probably as a stage two, stage three civilization. But these are the very, um, very first steps you will see. You know, these will be the things that look back on where we're like, hey, theoretically, we thought that that stuff we thought in science fiction could be. Then we actually were able to bring that into um, the world, our physical world we understand. So even crazier, they said he, they think they eat well. It's like I said, they're working on something completely different and they're being paid to work on that by DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. Like they knock a work on a work drive as well. Um, but he said, you know, thinking we probably could, he said they specifically, they had designed a toy model consisting of a one micron diameter sphere. You know, and the things people see, they say they see a lot that uses what would be, what would be considered as technology is spherical in shape. Centrally located in a four micron diameter cylinder was analyzed to show a three dimensional Casimir energy density that correlates well with al Cubre warp metric requirement. It sounds crazy because it is crazy, but crazy like, you know, any sufficiently advanced technology would appear as magic. It's a quote by somebody. Um, and it's true that, you know, somebody came with the ability to do the things that we are now understanding in the lab at the very basic levels is possible. It would look like magic to us. Shifting gears a lot, but also look, you know, to me it's all, it all entwined because this is going to be part of what drives this future is that time sealed a deal that will see the mega giant hold Ethereum on its balance sheets. The deal marks another time's foray into the cryptocurrency space already holds Bitcoin. And they're thinking about taking their catalog of, of images and material and play and, and throwing it into the metaverse as well. So for those who like, oh, this is stupid, it's silly that those are people who are, are very limited in their sight and scope. And I try as hard as not to be, to be that way. It's easy to be cynical and, and think, you know, everything, be contrary and know the way. It's very difficult to know how to weed through a lot of the garbage because there's a tremendous amount of garbage out there. But to see those sparks and understand what will inspire people um, going forward and being able to ride that. So. You'll see with time over the next decade, the metaverse will become an increasingly important part of the world's economy. Our physical and digital realities are already becoming hard to distinguish. We look forward to partnering with time and iconic brand. So this is Mike Novogratz from um, Galaxy Digital, who is a permable. This analyst believes Bitcoin will amount to five to seven percent of the world's economy soon. How much is that worth? It's just an article um, talking with Michael Saylor. I don't think they're calling him an analyst. Uh, must be someone else who was saying that. But it, the long and short of it, okay, who is this talking about? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, maybe they were saying him. He's not an analyst, whoever said this, whoever wrote this article person. When we get there, it'll be 5 to 7% of the world's economy. The U.S. dollar will probably replace 150 currencies. Maybe there will only be two to three left. There also may be the euro, Chinese, and a dollar. Everything else is probably going to disappear, and Bitcoin will be the world's monetary index. I, mm, I don't see that. See, that's some, you know, people think a lot of people want that to happen, to, to get consolidations of the world's currencies, consolidations of the world's religion. 
I'm very much against that, you know. Now, granted, I have my own beliefs, and do I think that, yeah, hey, you know, this is right, but I also know that hey, I, I may be wrong. And I know, also know that we've been warned that anything that tries to consolidate tries to control, and that has been through history. Don't ever forget that. So, with that said, I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.